PANDEF set the Conciliation Meet Committee to resolve Wiki for bar crisis. Now to the news info. Abuja, the Pan Niger Delta Forum PANDEF, led by the South South leader Chief Edwin Clark, has set up a high level peace and reconciliation committee to mediate on and resolve the lingering crisis between the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, SCTA, Samwiki, and Governor Timon Alai Fubara of River State. In a communique issued at the end of a special General Assembly meeting held in Portacot weekend, Pande said that the Reconciliatory Committee is also saddled with the responsibility of nipping in the bud all disputes and conflicts within the area. The communique was signed by King Alfred J. T. Spiff, the amiable of Tuan Brass and First Military Governor of River State as co-chairman, Board of Trustees, former Governor of Abia of Ibom State, Obong Victor Akta, co-chairman, Board of Trustees, former Nigerian Ambassador to Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Norway, Dr. God Nusbi Igali, National Chairman. Honorable Godwin Okote, AG National Secretary, and Dr. Obi Wavebi Omini Mini, National Spokesman. The Reconciliation Committee, which is headed by Obong Victor Atta, Co Chairman, Pandev Board of Trustees, has Senator Emmanuel Ibok Essien, former Senator Whip, Senator Roland Owe, Senator Stella Omu, former Deputy General of Bayosa State, where Admiral G. John Jonah. His Excellency Pam Oga and retired Honorable Dr. Stella Dogo as members. It said the Assembly hereby set up a high level peace and reconciliation committee <coughs> excuse me, to mediate on and resolve all disputes and conflicts within the area. The committee is headed by His Excellency Obong Victor Atta, co chairman, Pandev Board of Trustees. Others on the committee are Senator Emmanuel Ibok Essien. Senator Roland Owe, Stella Omu, Re Admiral G. Jonah, Pam Oga, and retired Honorable Dr. Stella Dogo. Though the political quagmire between former River State Governor Wiki and Fubara was not added in the communique, but when Pandey's spokesman was asked if it was part of the mandate, he said in a test that Wiki and Fubara are not members of the committee. But the mandate of the committee includes reconciling their conflicts. Recall that Wiki and Fubara has been at Ogahed since the latter assumed office as governor in 2023. Just as Fubara has said that his view to Wiki is tied to tussle power over tussle over power and control in River State. The cold war between the two had continued despite President Balatinabu and other relevant stakeholders' intervention. Pandef has also condemned in very strong terms the scrapping of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs by President Bola Tinubu last week, calling on the federal government to further discuss the issue with a view of addressing several specific concerns, especially at a time when the government is pursuing politics, policies to radically increase oil production. The body said that the federal government dissolved the ministry into a non-existing body without due consideration to those specific circumstances that led to its creation, no consultation with the critical stakeholders. According to the communique, the Ministry of Niger Delta was established to address specific issues bordering on peculiar circumstances of the Niger Delta, its damaged environment and its overall importance to the national economy, even as it welcomed the proposed South-South Commission to supplement existing federal agencies, saying, however, that the name of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, should reflect its function and the actual membership. Moved by the poor level of education in the region, Pandev has called on the state's government to guarantee tuition free education at primary, secondary, and tertiary levels, and advising that the reward the region should aim at an average of one tertiary institution in each of the 185 local government areas, adding that the minimum annual budget support in all the states of the Niger Delta should be 25% in line with the template recommended by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, 
UNESCO. PANDEF has also called on the federal government to repair all field road, complete the east-west highway, commence the building of, of the Calabar Lagos Railway, as well as set up maritime mass transit system for riverine areas of the Niger Delta. PANDEF at the end of the meeting also called on the federal government to show greater commitment in ensuring fairness in the manner in which the legal regime in the oil and gas sector Regarding participation of host communities, it was at par with the solid mineral sector, even as it urged Niger Delta investors to take advantage of the likely opportunities of the energy bank, especially in establishing modular and minor refineries, as well as develop green and clean energy potentials in furtherance of global climate change programs. The Communic Read a special general assembly of the Pan Niger Delta Forum Pandev was held at the Hotel Presidential Portacot River State on October 24, 2024. The assembly was hosted by His Excellency Sassina Alai Fubara, the Governor of River State, and attended by delegates from all six state chapters. Meanwhile, on the Board of Trustees and National Executive Council, the assembly was jointly directed was jointly chaired by His Royal Majesty King Alfred D. T. Spiff, the amenable of Tom Brass, first military governor of River State and co-chairman of Pandev Board of Trustees, and His Excellency Obong Victor Atta, former governor of Akwembom State and co-chairman of Pandev Board of Trustees. Other dignitaries present included former governor of River State, Chief Fredos Ada Judge, and former deputy governor of Bayosa State, Rear Admiral Burid Biaga John Jonah, former Chief Defense Staff General Alexander Ogumudia, His Royal Majesty King Dandison Jaja, Treaty King of Ubu Kingdom, and Chairman South South Nona Councils, others were serving, and former Ministers Abant Ambassador, Academics, Leader of Ethnic Nationality Organization, Federal and State Legislators, Leader of Women and Youth Association and the media. The theme of the Special General Assembly was fostering peace and unity for sustainable development of the Niger Delta. Good two messages were delivered by prominent leaders and nationalists of the South South Geopolitical Zone, including Chief Senator Dr. E. K. Clark, OFR, CON, Elder Statesman, and National Leader of PANDEF, Senator Emmanuel Ubok Essen, National Chairman Pandef, Senator Dr. Henneken Lobiri, Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Odili, of Petroleum Ambassador Joe Keshi, Director General Breeze Commission, etc. In the comment section, Shao says, Justice first, then reconciliation. My listeners, what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like. To